Hey there everybody, welcome back to Airbrushers Games and Art. How are you doing today? I'm doing great here. Well, we got another uh, one from Price9 going on. He's in his 132 and uh, he's out there doing some scouting. And I think this video is going to be a good teaching video. Maybe a little bit of uh, controversy. I don't think uh, controversy that uh, Price would expect. <laughs> But this is one of those things where um, anybody can commentate it. And I think people will have disagreement for it on a couple of things. And you'll see that coming up. How do I put this? Okay, I'll use myself as an example. Um... I can do decent passive scouting like he's doing right here, but I have a patience limit, <laughs> a intolerance of seeing tanks that don't see me that I can shoot, and, uh, and I should not shoot, but I do. And uh, Price 9 shows uh, very good um, control of not shooting tanks when he could probably do it and get away with it and right now he's he's not in a position where he could do that and yes they're a t54 lightweight just did a team kill and since he had been doing it before he got banned in this game so yay for him but as you know this is world of tanks and window lickers do uh populate this place pretty good and you have to deal with them if you're not a a window licker yourself now doesn't mean he's a doesn't mean other people are bad players it's just not as good as others <laughs> but yeah when you got people at team kill and they get banned because they've done it enough times to uh, get in the system yeah that's not off to a real good start so price moves up on accident here and uh, I think what happened is he shifted his finger on the buttons and then uh, he got back just as that IS-8 was coming. And see, they're moving up on his, onto his position slowly. And he's got a decent amount of uh, backup behind him that is using his, his eyes, using his spotting to the advantage. So um, Price is going to get a very good amount of damage done with his spotting and his assist through the spotting. But when I see like their light tank right there zipping around me and doing stuff, I tend to, to panic. I think, you know, automatically because I'm, I'm kind of a trained game style for heavy, for heavy tanks. So I just assume I'm always spotted. So this guy here, he's running around and I would have started firing to protect myself. Not realizing I would have given my position away because I was concealed and they would have never attacked me. So that's where my okay skills as a passive scout come to an end. Is the patience slash panic <laughs> of, of the situation. And Price, he holds his, uh, his, his yeah, calm really well. And he's not firing. And that's, you know, this is it right here. This is what a passive scouting game looks like. And it is just keeping those guys lit up. There's not a lot of action. Um, I think there should be more glory to it than there is because it is a good scout will win the game for you. A good scout will contribute greatly. That all depends on the team behind them if they win the game. You get a good scout, he gives you all the tools in the world to win. But if your team is a bunch of idiots, and then, you know, cause look at the score here. <laughs> um, and Price is, is uh, platooned up with the, uh, with the Artie. I'm going to guess his name is Ajax. Well, that's what I'm going to call him. And if it's uh, incorrect, I apologize. I'm um, just trying to work with get, making sure you get recognized in the video for doing a really good job of doing the arty. 
you're a scumbag, but you're a good scumbag. <laughs> and, you know, and this is where I'd be firing. I'd be panicking, especially with uh, the difference in the, and there you go. There's, that's the teamwork right there. He, Priceline spotted, Ajax killed him. But this is where I panic. This is where I would, oh, I'd, I'd be chasing these guys down because I would feel that I'm not doing enough to help my team win. And I think this is where the controversy comes in and it's controversies based on kind of subjective ideas. And that is when should price, when should a scout retreat from being a passive scout to attacking? But at the same time, there is a lot of tanks left on that team. And just because he's got six guys left on his team is not a reason to pop out and give away yourself to, to help the team. Um, they really need to step up. Um, Ajax, he already, he's already doing his part. But the other guys, um, they're just kind of around, they're not doing a lot. And so it's going to come to the point where uh, Price will be forced into that position to move forward and go into for the kills. But that'll, that'll be in a few minutes. So we're still into the point now where we're on four on what, two, four, six, eight, ten guys, four on ten. And it, it's is yeah, and most of the guys left on his team are are uh, TDs, so they have the added bonus of their exceptional um, camouflage rating. So it all depends on how the enemy team, who is now starting to get whittled down, handles the situation. A lot of times what I've seen is the enemy team will start to phone it in now because they're, you know, quote, so, so far ahead, unquote. And that's the kind of feeling I'm starting to get, but they also have the momentum. So even if they just start to just, you know, sit around in whatever, um, that momentum is going to carry them for a little bit. So here goes Price. He's in the attack mode. He's got that big old gun out front, and uh, he takes a couple of huge hits, damn near kills himself, or gets himself killed, I should say. Uh, there, Artie takes a shot, and uh, he just put another big round into the uh, T-29. Now he knows that that uh, Russian uh, 152 is reloading, he's got a long reload, so now he's in a position where he could have, he take that um, chance of going across the front of the T-29 because the SU-152 was not loaded. And that's because he knows the reload um, lengths on these weapons. So there's the RD, but there's the uh, there's the SU-152 and uh, yeah, he makes a decision here to uh, go ahead and attack him and he gets him as we're going to see here in a second. But now he's on such low health and it's pretty much done and over with. And it's kind of uh, anti-climatic coming up here. Uh, he's not going to kill this guy, unfortunately. I want to thank you for joining me. Thanks, Price, for suggesting this video. I hope to see you soon. Please hit the like and share. I'll see you soon. Bye.